We're fifth in the league. Our form has picked up somewhat. And now we fight. We're fifth in the league. Our form has picked up somewhat. And now we face Ajax in the second leg of this Champions League round of 16. Things are starting to get a little bit better for us. Welcome back to another episode of this beta save with Liverpool on Football Manager 23. In today's video, we'll have the second leg of the Ajax game. And if we get through that, we'll have the first leg of the quarterfinals. The team that we're going to put out is our strongest team, I believe. It's Alisson, Trent, Timber, Theatre, Robertson, Thiago, Bellingham, Salah, Musiela, Diaz and Nunes. Let's get straight into this. Come on, boys. Let's get the win that we all need the win that just gets so much pressure off our backs and puts us in to the quarterfinals of the champions league form has picked up somewhat not amazingly but enough to keep us going we now have a much smaller injury list as well so players are starting to come back right when we need them and straight away we've already done more in this game than really what we did against ajax and it's Hannibal, I think he's uh, the Man United player. I think he might be on loan. So just, you know, throw a couple of studs into him. Uh, De Vridge on the ball. And he's lost it. And with Darwin Nunes to Mo Salah. Mo Salah puts it away for his 19th goal this season. And there's a the difference right there. Mo Salah scored 38 goals last season or 40 goals last season. He's only scored 19 this season. Things just haven't been clicking for us as they have been in the past. This all comes from a Hannibal era. Darwin Nunes gets in there, passes to Mo Salah, who puts us 2 0 up on aggregate, 1 0 up on the night. That is just better from us. We are looking more attacking, we are looking more in control, and I think we'll just about sneak into that top four. Don't, we're not going to win the league, United are. 14 points ahead of us with 24 left on the table so we're not going to catch United but we are going to look to at least finish in the top four which is perfectly reasonable perfectly acceptable especially if we then win the Champions League you can argue that we've our focus has been on that Champions League and Nunes is through again and Nunes has scored the offside flag has gone up with the referees calling for the offside and I believe he was onside here goal awarded yes so we are now 2-0 up and this is what we needed this is what we needed Salah onto Nunes beautiful and we are 2-0 up looking calm this is the calmest we've looked in a long time we're not trying to fight for possession we're not scrapping we're getting shots away and it's trend now with the ball to the box and it's out to darwin nunez darwin to bellingham bellingham has a shot and absolutely rifles it home for his sixth goal of the season my my what a goal from jude bellingham what a rocket into that top corner i wish it wouldn't have been from this angle I really, really wish it wouldn't have been from this angle. But the ball, Darwin just plays into Bellingham. One touch and absolutely smashes into the top corner. Nothing the keeper could do. Nothing that anyone was going to do to stop that. And that is three goals to the good. We're 35 minutes in. Another goal will mean that we will massively change it for the second half. Robinson now on the ball. Can he find anyone? Can he find anyone? He goes all the way back to Theatre. Theatre to Timber. Timber back to Theatre. Theatre to Thiago. Thiago over the top for Salah. Salah, and that's a great save. That is a fantastic save to stop Salah again. His fourth, again, Liverpool's fourth goal and his second goal. Ball's in. And the ball is with Musiela. Musiela to Theatre. Theatre to well, nearly to Bellingham. And yeah, 14 shots, six on target. This is the Liverpool of old. Musiela now to Timber. Timber to Trent. Trent, great control. Brings it down, plays it in. And oh, that should have been 4 0 and game completely and utterly done. But Pasvia has it. Pasvia up the pitch. And Trent just brings it down calmly. No challenges, but then he's lost it to Tadic. 
bad touch from Trent and Tadic gets it in and great save by Allison. Timber keeps it in it's now with Trent and that's where the highlight ends they've had one shot on target we've had 15 shots six on target this is just so this is night and day difference to what I've been watching for the last few hours and Thiago hits it off the post two minutes injury time added on and I think second half we do make the changes that I was um, discussing making so let's go on tactics let's bring on um, Henderson for Bellingham let's bring on Van Dyke for Timber let's bring on Curtis Jones as well we'll bring on Ox for Salah and we'll leave it with the four changes at half time just in case someone does pick up an injury let's see what the second half because we're controlling everything but here's Bergwijn Bergwijn to Hannibal Hannibal back to Bergwijn he has put it in and Virgil does well to win the header Henson does nothing Henson has been bitching about playing time absolutely whining that he isn't getting enough playing time and uh, now it's kudos to taylor taylor to blind blind forward towards vindal i think it is and it's now tadish big wine and that was a great save by alice once again he wants that clean sheet bonus he hasn't had many this season and the ball ricochets off diaz for a corner and let's give it um, praise with praise is due let's get praise Trent has done well in this game oh, Trent has done well Tieta has done okay Robson's done well which you know it's what we need to start seeing more of is that Luke Shaw Hannibal ball in and Trent deals with it again Ox can't get out there but it doesn't get to Big East. And now it's with Kudis again. Kudis takes it round. He hasn't managed to get all the way around. He's hit up Vindal. And no foul. And it, it's just a bit chaotic right now. And Robertson looks like he's obviously cleared it. We, we're going to go attack. And I want more goals. I want this team to... More high. Oh, I want um, this team to bond more, gel more. Classens come on as well. I just want this team to do even better than what they already are in this match because we've got a tough run in to get into fourth place, you know. But I'd say with the league table, Arsenal are like eighth, you know, City are third, Leicester are fourth. So it is a bit of a mix up table this year. And Hannibal has the shot, but it finds Allison's grateful gloves. So it's not just all sides having a poor season. Gomez can come on to get some game time as well. You know, it isn't just us who are underperforming. A lot of teams are. Brentford are up there. You know, it has been a very mixed up table this season. And with that, that is the end of this game. We'll be back for the first leg of the quarterfinals. So here we are for the first quarterfinal match against AC Milan. It is, I believe, except for Gomez, the same team that started the Ajax match. So let's get into it. So we've got to, got to get that win. I'm sure we played these last year in the group stage and we dominated them, so we need to be doing the same again. But Di Maria with the first highlight and the ball's in, but ball's back out, back in again and out, lay out, beating Salah in the air. Tamori now to Tonali, Tonali back to Kalulu and the ball is played across towards Teo Hernandez, but Mo Salah does win the ball. And now it's Alexander Arnold on the ball, having a little run. Musiela now, Musiela takes a pass, favour for the Young Player of the Year award. Robertson now to Luis Diaz. Diaz played, oh no, he doesn't play it, and he plays it back to Robertson. Robertson smashes it home for his first goal of the season. Andrew Robertson puts us 1-0 up against AC Milan, which is very important. We have to do well in this first leg because we are the home team here. And 1-0 up. Smooth sailing from here, please. 
Real Madrid v Bayern big. We'll play either United or City in the semi-finals. So, you know, good job that we've got an easy team in either Bayern or Real last year's final, if I remember correctly. Uh, one of them is going out too. And that's a penalty after a push or a pull on Evan. Let's see what happens with this penalty review. It's going to be given. Brilliant. Mo Salah, step up and score your 22nd goal of the season, I want to say. And he's missed it. Magnan has saved it. Or Mignon, however you say it, has saved it. Not what we want. We want to get 2 3 up so we can relax. Less pressure. And the ball is into the box. Swung in, swung back out again. And. Yeah, I'd, I'd happily take no more highlights of the entirety of this video. Like, this works perfectly. No highlights, just a smooth run through to the final whistle. Happily take it. Bland as anything, happily take it though. When it's half time, we're 1 0 up. And I know we can do better. And let's just hope for. I'd, I'd take a bland second half. Go 1 0 up. Go to Italy and defend the lead. And it's Mignon to Kia. Kia to Sivald. Sivald to Lyal. Lyal back to Kia. Back to Sivald. To Benicia. To. That's a bad tackle. That's a red card. Yeah. Arthur Tiate, what have you done, son? You have been sent off. That means Ruchier will have to come back. And it does mean that Virgil van Dijk does get to come on and play a game. Because that was so bad from Tiate. Great thing is he'll play in the league now. And it'll be van Dijk and Gomez as our Champions League duo. Because that was a straight red. So that is the next game out. And I think he'll miss, if I'm correct, all both the semi-final legs as well. So we wouldn't be back to the final. Robertson now having a nice little jaunt down the left-hand side. Plays the ball in. And it is Mo Salah who has managed to get a lot of power on him, but not the direction. And we are going to have to take Trent off, I think, because he is very tired. And we'll bring on... Timber instead, who can play as right back. Brought him in as a centre back, right back. And um, was still performing very well against a very good Milan team. And it is Teo Hernandez now. Someone's got to put a challenge in. Put a challenge in. And the ball has got across with Timber, is there. And Van Dyke manages to hit it up to Evan. Evan, can he play it to someone? He finds Mo Salah. Mo Salah now on the break, on the counter attack. Through to Evan. Evan, oh, he has to go across goal. He's tried to fake it near post, and my nan has seen that. Oh, that was so bad. And you're looking back at that penalty miss now as well, thinking, you know, crap, we could have been 2 0 up and coasting. The ball's in, the ball's back out, lay out to. I can't say that name. And it is now Bellingham. Bellingham to Robertson. Robertson breaking down the wing. Diaz. Diaz. Can he put it in? He does, but he doesn't get any power when Tamori blocks it. But Timber gets his head onto the ball. And it's now over. And Robertson will have some time. Passes to Casido. Casido. And Bellingham has been pickpocketed. But thankfully, Gomez does notice it and gets the ball back. And now it's Timber. Timber is the fresh man. He should be able to have a little bit of a run. Timber's still going. He's still going. And he's fouled. And that'll be a red card. That evens the game out. Teo Hernandez is off. He will miss the second leg. And that is brilliant news because that is their main left back already off Teo Hernandez goodbye you have just ruined your chances of getting back into this game 10 apiece now we should be fine Florenzi has come on um, on the right wing 23 shots 8 on target very simple win and we are now into the second leg which you will see in the next episode i hope you've enjoyed please like share and subscribe as always and i will see you tomorrow for the second leg of this uh, champions league run see you soon bye for now